Glenn, then you have the Pat Cipollone subpoena. How much of an escalation is it to bring him in front of a federal grand jury? And what powers do they have that maybe the January 6th committee didn't? The perfect question, Chris, because some people might look at this, you know, well, that's more of the same because Pat Cipollone already testified to the January 6th committee. But the two settings, the J6 committee and a federal grand jury are as different as night and day. The J6 committee doesn't have any real power or a viable path to test and overcome a privilege once it's asserted. But the grand jury has a a, a direct path to promptly resolve the assertion of any privilege by a witness. All we do, and I litigated lots of privileges when witnesses would claim them in the grand jury, we go to the chief judge who has supervisory authority over the grand jury. In this case, it will be Beryl Howell in D.C. Federal District Court, and we litigate the assertion of a privilege. And McGahn does, uh, McGahn, that's a Freudian slip, Pat Cipollone does not have a robust (laughs) privilege to assert because it's for a former president and the current president, Joe Biden, the holder of the privilege, seems inclined to waive it pretty much every time he is asked. And then there's the crime fraud exception. So Chief Judge Beryl Howell could find that the privilege does not exist and order Pat Cipollone to go right back before the grand jury and testify about the statements Donald Trump made. This is a sea change from what we saw Pat Cipollone do before the J6 committee.